So this is the intake manifold from my engine. Uh, I'm going to show you the inside of it and you can see how it's just kind of wet in there. And what that is, is that's oil from the crankcase that entered to be burned. But there was so much of it that it was actually pulled up in the bottom of it. I've already cleaned that out. But it was just, there was way too much oil and that's what is being sucked into the engine and burned. So that's what makes it all gummed up and nasty. So I'm going to show you over here at the engine real quick. Uh, after all that oil's in the intake manifold, this is what your intake ports look like. Uh, these, they're pretty stained with oil and just everything's wet with oil. Um, if I had let it go much longer, it would have just turned into black sludge and be very disgusting. So this is why I have the oil catch can to prevent this. All right, guys, so the oil catch can is finally 100% installed, and I've been running around with it for a little while now. So uh, I'm going to show you uh, exactly what it does and how well it works. So uh, I have it not mounted anything just for the video purposes because it makes it much easier to show you guys how it works. But basically, you know, these are the two hoses. So one of them comes from the crankcase with the vapors going into it. And then one of them comes out and goes into the intake manifold. So this is a Moroso catch can. Uh, it was purchased off Amazon. It was pretty pricey compared to a lot of other cans, but... In my opinion, it was well worth the money. It is a very nice fit and finish, and it also has very high quality internals. One thing you really want to look for in an oil catch can is that it actually has an oil separating feature and is not just a can. So you can see in here that I emptied this maybe 50 miles ago or so, and you can just see how, how, like how nasty that is. Uh, that is what it would normally be going into your intake manifold and being burned. So you can definitely see how that would really gunk everything up and get nasty. Now this one has actually has like a steel mesh folded up in there and that's what actually separates the oil vapor from the air and falls into here. Where some catch cans, some of the cheap eBay ones, it's literally just a can. It doesn't have any of that. So it's really not going to catch any oil. It's not, it's not really not going to do anything. Uh, this one also has this very nice feature, this little drain with a valve here. So this can be teed easily into a line returning to your oil pan, which I just have not done yet. That is on the list of things to do. And also get a better mounting location for it. But to answer the question, do they work? Absolutely. I would highly recommend one. Um, these are definitely going to be going on my future vehicles. Uh, especially if it's a turbo car, guys, because those are going to have a lot more blow-by and um, crankcase gases, such as the newer BMWs, all the N54 powered cars, which is the three liter twin turbo. Uh, those cars, you'll see them with 50,000 miles and they'll come in with just absolutely disgusting intake manifolds and the ports are just all gunked up. So that is something, if it was a turbo car, I would highly recommend an oil catch can. This is not turbo, but I, I, I just like the idea of it and it obviously works. So yes, they're worth it and I would highly recommend it. I hope everyone's having a good day. Please rate and subscribe, and uh, check out the channel for some more cool videos. Thank you.